Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake. Weekly update coming your way right now. Make sure you share this on your platforms. If this is the first time you've joined us on this weekly uh, update, thank you for joining us and share this with as many folks as you can because there's a lot of stuff. You're about to get Jake. bombarded with information. Uh, fire hose. First yeah. piece of information is I'm making a major lifestyle change. <laughs> I, I am going to take a step into something. Scripture talks about imitating Christ. So I'm going to make a major lifestyle change to emulate Jesus. Is this another golf illustration? Nope. From this point forward, I will no longer be ironing my clothes. Didn't realize this, but the iron wasn't invented until 1886. Hmm. Jesus walked the earth, you know, and died around 33, 35 BC, which means... Jesus did not iron his clothes. And so for me, I want to be like Jesus. And what's been really cool about this is, number one, the amount of time I'm saving in the morning. I, you know, I just throw the stuff on and I get like five, ten extra minutes. But number two, it is so freeing to be walking around when your clothes are not stiff. And you know what the scripture says, if the sun has set you free, you are free indeed. So if you see me walking around with a wrinkled shirt, just know I'm doing it to be more like Christ. If you really want to be like Christ, you need to start walking everywhere you go. <sighs> everywhere you go, walk, Jake. Just donate your truck to your pastor, <clears throat> and you just you can walk everywhere. That's really what it means to be like Jesus, if you want to be like Jesus. What do we got for him this week? Hey, I want to let you know, did you know October is going to be next week? And yesterday was the first day of fall. Feels and like how it. how about this weather? Come on. This is awesome. I told Jake I think I'm going to freeze to death this year. Um, so, hey, here's the deal. October is next month. So that means Halloween and all those things around there. But I don't like Halloween. I, I don't really either, to be honest with you. But uh, here's what I do love. I love the fall I do festival too. That's pretty that fun. we do. And we are doing a fall festival at Summit Heights. We've got area churches joining us this year. It's going to be outside, inside, every place you can uh, have in the building. Uh, we've got Darren Morris Band, who is rising on the charts right now. Oh, uh, he's, he's going to be here. And um, his band, they're going to be putting on a couple of uh, sets, concerts type deal, all the booths, food, uh, outdoor stuff. So be looking for that coming on. I know some people have been asking, are we going to do it? Uh, because of all the kind of strangeness of the last 18 months uh, mm -hmm. that we've been in, we are going to do it. So be the, the Sunday before Halloween, right? Yeah, October 24th, cool. Sunday before Halloween. Uh, we have other uh, things going on on Halloween night in the community, and we don't want to get on top of that. So we've always chosen to do it the Sunday before and give families options to be able to uh, have a safe outing with their kids. So, and whatever costume I'm wearing, you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to be wrinkled. You're not going to iron the costume? No, I'm telling you, man. I'm loving this new lifestyle. So what do you got? October 3rd, we got a lot going on. Man, we got on, a lot of we? stuff going on. So let's start with this Sunday. Membership this Sunday. RSVP to Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. We're going to have our membership class immediately following the service in room A101 in the back hall. And then October the 3rd, we've got baby dedication. Yep. So you need to contact Kristen. Uh, if you've got a child that you want to uh, be dedicated to the Lord and find out what that's all about, also on October 3rd, that evening, we've got Night of Worship. And so you're going to want to come Sunday evening to the Night of Worship. If you're in a small group, make plans for your entire small group to come to that. And then also after church, we're going to have our first small group gathering. Let me, let me tell you what that is. A lot of people are already connected in groups. This is for those of you that did not connect in a group but you want to be in a group, maybe start a group, maybe find out what it looks like to lead a group. We've already got about 10 or 12 people that have signed up. And so sign up this Sunday uh, so I can get a head count. I'm gonna feed you. And then we're gonna have a small group together. And uh, I'm excited about that. We're gonna do it the first Sunday of every month. Hey, so let me interject here because I was thinking about this. You know, you're doing this small group gathering this Sunday for those who aren't Next, in group. Next, uh, October 3rd. Uh, or October 3rd. <laughs> so my thought is I, I get online every once in a while and mm -hmm. I see where people are joining us from like Arkansas and mm -hmm. they're joining us from Longview and they're mm -hmm. joining us, you know, from all over. 
And so here's my thought. If you're listening to this and say you live in Arkansas, you live in Florida, you live um, out of state or out of the country, and you're listening to this and you want to do a small group of your community, get with Jake because we would love to help you do that as well. Now, I know you can't show Marty up. already got one of those starting up in Longview. Yeah, I know, I know you won't be able to attend necessarily this gathering that he's doing, mm -hmm. but we would love to help you connect and help you grow those groups going on. And that, speaking of that Longview group, if you're in Longview, um, you may be getting a phone call. I gave out some numbers this last week to uh, Andrew, our mm -hmm. small group uh, host over there. So uh, make sure you get plugged in. Didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just no, thinking you're about all those people around there that listen that don't live here and can't attend here. I think that would be kind of cool for Well, they could, help they choose not to. It would be a church. They say a church alive is worth the drive, but I would say if you have to drive like from Oklahoma, I don't know if it's you could still do worth it. the drive. You could still do it. It's a long way. All right, golfers, we need you. October the 9th, we need to get teams signed up. Uh, Four-man scramble, best ball scramble. I know that half our church plays golf, and so we should be able to fill up. We should have 18 teams yeah. easily. And so this Sunday, you need to pick up a form at the info desk. Give us the four names of the players that are going to be on your team so we can get that over to Pine Springs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a blast Saturday afternoon, October the 9th, and we're going to raise a lot of money for our students. We still need door prizes? Yeah, we got lots of door prizes. So do you still need them? Yeah, okay. bring them. We, okay. Man, we could yeah. use lots of door prizes. Cool. Don't bring an iron, though. No irons. Well, what if they were bringing iron? Nope. Then, like, like a five iron. Well, you can do that. Or, I'm talking about the things you smooth your clothes out oh, with. I'm not, not doing that we're anymore. We're talking about golf. I'm not doing that anymore. I know, but why are you? You're so surprised. We're talking about golf, like five iron, yeah. one iron. You know. Uh, Went down a belt loop this week on my weight loss journey. I thought that was pretty cool. Some of people have been asking. You know, good. I made that Facebook post, and people have been asking, "Hey, that's, how's it going?" That's so, good. That's good. Yeah. That's why, if you want to be like Jesus, start walking. Okay. You just get rid of your truck, dude. You could walk eight miles to the church. Eight miles home. That would be mm -hmm. 16 miles a day. Yeah. And dude, if you had to go to Tyler, think about Are you going to wash the dust off my feet? You bet I, I would, buddy. If you give me your truck, I'll wash the All dust right. off your feet. All right. Hey, listen. Absolutely. We love each and every one of you. Can't wait to see you on Sunday. If you're still watching virtually, put a comment in there. Mm -hmm. We want to know that you're watching. Say hello. Do that little wave hand or whatever. Yep. Uh, it's just a way for us to connect with you. And so looking forward to Sunday. I hope Edward brings it. We're talking about choices this week. And I, Choosing not be, to iron my clothes. It's going to be one of the most practical things I've taught in a long time. Uh, just how to make choices. So don't miss this Sunday. It, it, it's, it's just it's going to be so stinking practical. What if I choose to miss this Sunday? Then you choose to miss out. Okay. That's it. We love you. Love you, Summit.